Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn. Um, thank you for clicking the thumbnail. And uh, today, I'm going to show you my Prada Candy collection. The original Prada Candy is one of my favorite perfume. It is one of my very first perfume when I started my fragrance journey. Uh, probably, I've been using this for the last 9 years now or so and recently i started adding all of its flankers except one so the total uh, entire line of this product candy is seven and then as you can see i only have six because i'm missing one which is the sugar candy kiss which i'm gonna uh, talk about later on so we we start with the original product candy this is one of my favorite perfumes, all-time favorite perfumes. It was this was launched in uh, 2011, and the perfumer is Daniela Andrier. So by the way, guys, all of these they have the same perfumer, Andrea uh, Daniela Andrier. And the top notes of this is caramel, mid notes is powdery notes and musk. And base notes are vanilla and benzoin. So this is, I consider this as a gourmand. But in Fragrantica, it says it is an amber vanilla. But it's very gourmandy on my side because it's so sweet. The very first thing that you will smell once you spray it is the caramel. The sweet caramel. And then it will dry down to those sweet, powdery, and musky vanilla. This is so good. This is so, so good. The only problem is the performance. I can have moderate silage, but the, long, the, the longevity is, is bad. Can, I, can, in, I can get probably, if I push it and overspray, I can get 3 hours, maximum 4 hours. So I can get 4 hours if, I, if you apply it in a clean skin meaning when you take a shower after you take a shower you put a lot of uh, uh, lotion or cream and then you spray it on top then i will get three to four hours and then i will top it up but otherwise sometimes i'll get less than three hours but otherwise it's a good scent so later on they release uh prada candy law so from the word law meaning it's light in the, in the beginning, I thought this is just a lighter version of the original Prada candy, but their notes is a bit uh, different. This was launched in 2013, same perfumer, but the top notes is citruses, mid notes is sweet pea, base notes are caramel, benzoin, and white mass. I I think, and in my nose, it is the lighter version of the original product candy the dry down is the same same dna it is a caramel musky vanilla perfume and the longevity is is is, is worse than the original product candy i can get only one to two hours in this and then i have to over spray i use quite a lot uh, no, I, I use a lot of juice and I use it only maybe two, three times because I need to overspray a lot. But if you really love the scent, just buy the big, bigger bottle like this. It's 80 ml. And then just overspray and overspray if you like the scent. Then one year later, they released the Prada Candy Floral. So this is Prada Candy Floral. It is considered as a floral fruity gourmand and this was launched in 2014 same perfumer but the top notes is lemon cereal mid notes is peony base notes are honey caramel musk benzoin and benzoin so the only difference between the original is this is a little bit floral well not a little bit the first the first initial spray the initial spray you i can smell the floral and the uh, uh, lemon right away it's so fresh and light 
and it's it's so good it's so good it dries down to the same product candy dna which is caramel and musky sweet uh, dry down um the longevity is the same as the original product candy two to four hours over spray with with lotion maybe they, you can uh, extend it to four hours um, the silage is less than the original product candy but still a very good scent then the next one that they launched in uh, 2016 is the is the kiss I don't have it with me so the product candy kiss is uh, launched in 2016 same perfumer top notes are musk vanilla uh, mass mid notes are mass and orange uh, are orange mass and orange blossom base notes are mass and vanilla so that one is a musky is a musky product candy the initial spray mass dry down mass but there are some sweetness the longevity and the silage is uh, less than the original product candy it's very uh, close to the skin and um long uh, the longevity is more than two hours i don't have a full bottle but i have a, a sample in a decant of that and i'm planning to buy a bottle in uh, once i i i saw a, a good deal so by the way this law is also discontinued you won't be able to find it in in the in the website except in this counter and maybe another frog head selling it on marketplace or kijiji or ebay now after the product candy kiss they they uh, launch uh, product candy plural as you can see the color of the bottle this is my favorite this is my favorite bottle because of the color pink uh, this was launched in 2017 same perfumer but the top notes are sour cherry and cassis Mid notes are peach, rose, and orange blossom. Base notes are vanilla, almond, benzoin, heliotrope, and musk. This is the per the perfume that is away from the DNA of the product candy. I don't really smell the DNA of product candy in here. Initial spray, a sour cherry right away, which I like. I, I love this I love this perfume because I love um, sour, uh, cherry notes so the first plus cherry and you can smell that cherry probably about 30 minutes or so then it dries down to a, a musky powdery sweet sweet scent I don't smell the caramel okay yeah they don't have caramel yeah there's no caramel in it there's no dna of uh, product candy this could actually be another perfume right not a plunker product candy because it smells so different but the longevity is because i have used this a lot the longevity i can extend up to four hours with with uh, layering lay laying I layer it with a lotion and I over spray a lot and I top it up after four hours the silage is moderate comparable to the original product candy so this is the the gloss product candy gloss in 2018 they released the sugar pop product candy sugar pop so the Sugar Pop was considered as a flora pretty uh, gourmand and launched in 2018, same perfumer. Top notes are red apple, citruses, and bergamot. Mid notes are white peach and floral notes, and base notes are caramel and vanilla. So this, I can, I can smell the DNA of uh, Prada Candy, and it is similar to the, the smell is a bit similar to the floral initial spray you can smell the citrus and the floral notes and it dried down to um, sweet uh, vanilla with the um, powdery vanilla 
I also really like it too and it's very fresh and light compared to the original uh, the performance regarding the silage I it's it's closer to the skin performance is also two to four hours I'm sorry longevity is two to four hours then the latest one that they launched is the Prada candy night this was launched in 2019 and considered as an amber vanilla perfume the top notes are iris bitter orange and neroli mid notes are vanilla and tonka bean base notes are chocolate and patchouli so out of all the, the Prada candy range this is the this has the best performance so when I spray 12 spray or more I can get a very good silage and the longevity it can last for four more than four hours and the smell the scent is so good initial spray you can smell the iris right away iris is also one of my favorite notes and and you can smell it in here you spray it first five minutes you smell the iris and the neroli and then after that you smell some sweetness from the vanilla tonka bean then it dries down to a chocolate patchouli those people who doesn't like patchouli don't worry it's not that prominent in here you can smell the chocolate more and the dry down now because maybe it has patchouli out of the of, out of all the Prada candy this is the only one that has patchouli maybe that's why the longevity is better than the rest uh, this one you can use it at night during date nights or when uh, you go for a movie or eat with your friends or date with your with your boyfriend or with your boyfriend uh, you can use it so this is the only one i considered as a nighttime perfume while the rest are all daytime perfume so that that's it guys um thank you for watching and listening to me showcase my my collection and i'm i'm a very busy person i work full time i have a i'm a mother and a, a wife so i don't have much time to to record video and repeat it all over again i just do one time and then i post it i don't even know and i don't know how to edit that much so that's why my 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 videos are like this but uh, i love perfumes it keeps you know it keeps joy to me at the end of the day when i'm so stressed and tired i just look at my collection and it helps distress me and makes me happy and doing this video and opening my channel also is my my outlet to to showcase my collection and help with my uh, stress so thank you so much for watching and for supporting me and hopefully i can show you some more um maybe i'll show you my miss Dior, but i'm just preparing it's gonna be a long long video because i have quite a lot of them and once again hit like if you like the video if you don't like you don't have to like it but hopefully i'll see you again next time thank you bye bye